Uh, good afternoon. So, yeah, when we started working on the all new Sylphy, we, uh, we were super excited as well. And we knew this is a very impo important product for Nissan in China. It's the best selling car for Nissan. So, we want to get it just right. And we know it's a big challenge because the current Sylphy, it, it's so successful. It's super roomy, super comfortable, and our customers love it. So, we have to keep all this and move forward at the same time. So what were some of the things you, you did? Obviously, the, the shape is completely new, the technology new. But as a designer, what, what were some of the things that you were doing to make this Sylphy look different and great? Yeah, so we know we have to make it much more modern, more stylish, more exciting. This is our goal as a designer. But how to keep the fundamentals, the roominess, and the good packaging? So that was a challenge. So working with our engineering teams, yeah, we had a very good collaboration with both our engineers and our design studio in China, and we're able to come up with this new proportion. So we made the car much wider, 55 millimeters wider, so it feels much more planted. The car has strong presence. So that's a great start, you know, good proportions, there's no substitute for that. And it's wider first, and then also lower. So we're able to lower the roof height and the hood and the, the whole body, so it sits lower, having a much more sporty presence. But at the same time, you know, the cabin space is important. So we stretched out the length of the cabin. So it's a much more, it's a longer cabin, much more comfortable, lots of leg room. So one of the things I love that Ken's team was able to do is this long cabin. Actually, also with this floating roof, you were able to make it feel even longer than it really is. Is this uh, something that you want to bring to other cars? Or what, why did you come up with this? Uh, this technique. Yeah, definitely. So we have this very iconic signature that we started at Nissan you know, from, uh, from the Murano onto Maxima, and now it shows up here, this floating roof motif. But it's not just decorative. You know, it, it's a very roomy, spadling cabin. So we want to show this off and, and to emphasize the glass area, to elongate it so the roof is just floating. And you know, it looks very open and airy, and you want to get inside and sit in it. Mm -hmm. And about the, the, why, in the sense that you're saying that we're kind of cabin-centric, we really want to show about the roominess, especially in the back, but it's quite sporty. What was the motivation to take Silphy into a sporty, high-tech direction? So yeah, so that, that's the balance we have to make. So the cabin is big and spacious and roomy, but we wanted to make the body of the car to show off the excitement, the sportiness. So we took great care to you know, do this body side, uh, very sculpted, you know, very dynamic. And uh, so this car, thanks to the new chassis, it has a lower center of gravity. And we wanted to show that off as well. So the mass, the volume of the body is down low. This character line, you know, this is the wide point of the car, and it plants the car down, mm -hmm. has a low center of gravity. And then we have the very strong, powerful shoulders to emphasize the wheel-oriented presence mm -hmm. of the car. So it looks sporty, dynamic, and uh, has very strong presence on the road. Well, you talked about the car getting wider, so why don't we turn the cars a little bit pointing forward? The 55 millimeters of width, Ken, I, I really think that uh, everyone is going to notice how muscular this car looks like. There's a lot of Coke bottle ins and outs. Is there anything you were doing in the front to make that even feel more than it is? Yeah, so it's really the whole presence of it does start off from the front with our new V-Motion 2.0, our front identity. So the grille itself is you know, much bigger, more presence than the current one. And uh, with the lower hood, you know, totally it has a dynamic presence. And even as we style, you know, put the characters' lines on, we're careful to you know, run them through the car entirely so the movement goes through to make the car look long and wide, and yet, there's a lot of dynamic movement to each line. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we had fun you know, taping on the clay models as we're developing them, and, and I think the outcome you know, looks very natural. So on the, I know that you were, of course, uh, also director of design for the new Altima. How were you managing these two cars together and thinking about uh, the strategy of the company? Yeah, so these cars, the new Altima you see over there, they're, they're done at about the same time in our global studio. So, you know, we had different teams working on them, but they influenced each other and inspired each other. So we had this new 
you know, bigger vMotion grill with a, with a Chrome element. And on the Sylphie, you know, it's not just a copy of the Ultima, it takes the same family, uh, uh, family look, but adds more dynamism. There's a lot, of, lot more sharpness and creases on the front that makes it you know, much more interesting, more spice mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, so we have you know, enough uh, family resemblance, yet each one has its own personality. Right. Let's uh, start talking about the back, the rear end of the car. It'll take a second there to get along. I mean, I think as you see the car turning, hopefully you're, you're seeing there's a lot of what Ken is talking about, the muscularity, the sportiness, the strength of the body, the very long cabin that's making you feel that uh, inside you have an a rewarding experience. And then when you get around the back, the floating roof, and also the rear end. Is there something you want to uh, touch on the rear? So yeah, once, once again, it, you know, it, it's great to have the extra width in this new proportion. So when you're following the car down the road, you're behind it, you really see the new proportion. How the roof is lower, the, the shoulders are wider. So we have this you know, 25 millimeters of width on each side that we can give to the shoulders. So it has broad shoulder section. So the car looks planted, again, like the front. So very powerful presence you know, from the rear as well. Mm -hmm. well when you're working with the engineers, uh, how were you able to get the, the tires so close to the, the body and really pull out the fender? It really looks like the, the car's top is sitting on a strong pedestal. Yeah, this was very important to us. So you know, we could put all the lines, all the styling lines on it we want, but fundamentally what's going to make the car look great is the proportion. So not only bringing the height down, we we widen the body, but we knew just widening the body is not enough, so the track is pulled out as well. So we worked mm -hmm. with our team, engineering teams, to bring the track out also, 25 millimeters on each side, so the tires, you can see that they're almost flush to the body, making a very strong stance right. from the quarter view. So why don't we uh, take some moments and talk about the interior, because I think we've covered that we're, we have a very sporty saloon, sedan, sleek upper, long cabin, but at the end of the day, in China especially, the reward and the, the, the satisfaction of our customer is how they live in the car. So can I get your door, sir? So let's take a ride. Yes. Oh, thank you, sir, there and you I will go. get yours. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Okay. How about the interior? Because at a glance, this interior is actually quite sporty and uh, the, the premium materials is really a class above. Um, what, what was the motivation on that? So yeah, once again, much like the exterior, first we worked on the proportion first. And uh, on this instrument panel, which you see up on the screen, you know, we wanted to emphasize the extra width of the car. So the movement is all horizontal, but it's not a, just a simple plain shape. It's not boring. We, it's, uh, you know, it's sculpted in a dynamic way to, to reflect the exterior. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, once again, you know, proportion first, the width, it feels wide and open and inviting yeah. when you get in. And with engineers, I know that you were working very much on slimming the, the, the thickness of the instrument panel that, so getting in and out and this sense yeah. of roominess in the front um, can be dramatically improved over today. Yeah, it was great because when the cowl of the car, the hood and the windshield touched down, when that came down 40 millimeters, so quite a lot downwards, and the instrument comes down with it automatically. Mm. So when you look forward, you have a great view out front. Yes. So I think that um, one of the things that I'm so happy about is that even though the car has definitely, compared to today's, taken on a tonality of sport, but actually Ken is tall, and I am somewhat tall, but there is actually more space felt inside the car than the current one. And I think that Ken's team has been working on the, the sculpting of the back of the seats, also how to deal with color and materials to really show a sense of openness and, and width. So uh, is there anything, I mean, how difficult was it to get the kind of big American head in the back here? <laughs> Yeah, very difficult. I mean, there's a lot of debate back and forth with engineering. We try to slim up the headliner and push the roof down, but maintaining the same amount of interior space that makes the customers like the current Sophie so much. So, yes. so yeah. I, I do know that, uh, especially, I think Ken is mentioning the thickness from the roof to the headliner, which has been optimized. Uh, I'm a 86 percentile male when I'm sitting down, 
And uh, when I'm sitting in this car, you really feel uh, amazing sense of openness. So I think you guys uh, fought a good battle. Yep. yep, it was fun. Yeah. So anyway, I think that uh, first of all, we want to thank you for, for coming. And uh, we want to invite you to come up and experience the car directly. And um, so, Ken, thank you very okay, much. Thank you. And uh, thank you for, for coming. So please come up. <laughs> Take a photo of Ken. He's so cute. Come on. <laughs> thank you. Ken. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.